hospital rooms have developed a really good methodology, really, um, of uh, different different stages of engagement and it's engaged. I mean, I've been more, I haven't been so involved in what's happened on the ward. Um, I was more involved in setting the whole thing up at a more managerial level and getting different managers from different departments within the service involved and then kind of handing it over to people on the ground on the ward to liaise with people like Louis um, and, and the artists themselves. But it's, it, it's absolutely, it, 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 it is a dialogue, yeah. So I think one of the most vital aspects of what we do at Hospital Rooms is really about co-creation and participation um, and that's where research comes in as a really important part of that process because we're always trying to elevate what we do, we're always trying to involve the mental health community because they are the ones that have such valuable insights about the impact of our projects um, and I think we don't just do this in workshops but we do it every time we're on the ground on a ward. We're always um, talking with people, engaging with people and really it's all about trying to come up with research methods that are alternative and creative and inclusive and that, um, that can really help us um, understand the bigger picture of what a project, a hospital rooms project on awards um, means for the people that are going to be um, experiencing it. I think, I think you never know what to expect. Um, and I think regardless of you know, how many actually participate in full with the project, I actually think it's just interacting with people. I think, and, and I always sort of think about it as a sort of delabeling set, so it's just, you know, process it by doing workshops. You know, it's just a person, you know, and however you know, well or otherwise it might be, I think it's just interacting with another human being.